clear to me in this debate with Sam Harris is not only how Jungian he is, but how Kantian he is. Now, when I say Kantian, I mean uh, to make reference to Immanuel Kant, the great 18th century uh, Prussian uh, philosopher, probably the greatest of the modern philosophers, in some ways the paradigmatic modern thinker. Um, Kant maintained that we can't know anything really truthful metaphysically about God. He critiqued the famous arguments for God's existence, felt that, that the human reason couldn't uh, attain to that level. What reason deals with legitimately, Kant said, is the phenomenological world, so the world that the sciences can examine. His critique of pure reason involved the critique of this sort of leap into metaphysical uh, truth. However, Kant said, in his critique of practical reason and in his great book on, uh, on religion, that we can talk about God when it comes to morality. The idea of God, I'm oversimplifying here, this would be you know, a course for another day, but the idea of God is a kind of regulative idea of the practical reason. In other words, it makes possible the moral life. Now, in his text on religion, called Religion Within the Limits of Reason Alone, Kant says that the narratives about Jesus present the archetype of the person perfectly pleasing to God. In other words, they bring forward this sort of image, this narrative presentation of what it means to be totally morally upright. Are they making historical claims? Kant says, well, in a way, we, you know, it doesn't matter. We don't really have access to uh, the history behind these narratives. What matters is the narrative itself as it presents the archetype of the person perfectly pleasing to God to us. Well, as I listened to Jordan Peterson, I thought, that's key to his own thinking. Notice how often he avoids the sort of metaphysical side of the question of God. I don't think he's very sympathetic, or he doesn't talk much about the classical arguments for God's existence. Rather, what he tends to do is to show how embedded in the great narratives and, and rituals of religion are these archetypal truths that make possible the living out of a morally upright life. I thought that's an updated version of the Kantian program. Now, as I say, I think all of this, both in its Jungian and Kantian form, represents a great advance over the new atheists. I mean, I, I like the fact that he's kind of tweaking the nose of, of Sam Harris and, and his, you know, very one-sided rejection of religion. Uh, what I would, would do if I had a chance to talk to Jordan Peterson is, is press him on this point. Is he still on sort of one side of the great Kantian divide? Is God simply a regulative idea of the practical reason? Is, is God a sort of narrative necessity if we want to live the moral life? Or is God a person? Is God a metaphysical reality that we can have some knowledge of and with whom we have a relationship? That's where I would probably press him, even as I, as I applaud his critique of the new atheist. I'd maybe press him on this point.